It was John Wall and Bradley Beal leading the way. I think they combined for 15 assists, combined for 57 points. So it's curious how they can turn it on for a half and play that well against a really good team because Clippers had been streaking, winning a bunch of games. They won five straight heading into last night. And yet they just can't do it. So, you know, they're where they are, the kind of ability they have when they're all on the same page. If you watch the high game live, but I watched uh, NBA.com does a great job. You can see all the different packages. And you, what the, the kind of defense they were playing in the first half was a joke. I mean, it was like literally no defense. Guys just standing around, no helping, nobody boxing out. Uh, guys just streaking in the basket, um, wide open threes. And then in the second half, I mean, it's hard for me to – to to jock, it still gave up fifty five points, but it was way better than giving up seventy three. I mean, they overcame a twenty four point deficit. I mean, yeah. they put the clamp somehow on Tobias Harris because he because he was raking them over the coals in the first half. I think he had either twenty five or twenty seven in the first half, and he wound up with twenty nine. So he didn't do basically anything in the second half. Yeah. He looked like he was on a bullet train. The 50 points in that game well, last I saw night. At one point, I don't know if it was first half or second half, Jeff Green playing some good defense on him, got right in his mm-hmm. face, blocked his shot. Um, so I but assume... kudos to John. He is I've taken as many threes as he did last night. He happened to hit a bunch of them. There was one possession where he shot two threes and Otto shot a three, and they missed all three of them. I, I guess that's the way it is in I the NBA. I saw that possession. It was, it was I just quite don't like maddening. John taking threes and somebody shot back while he's five for ten. You know what? More often than not, when he takes 10 threes, he's only going to hit three of them. Right. He's, he's two, not a good three-point shooter. usually two or three for 10. And if you look at his career numbers and you look at his numbers this year, they really haven't gotten that much better. He's not a great three-point shooter. But it is interesting that there's this anonymous source, and after the game, you know, they should feel good about things. After the game, in the interviews, Markeith Morris is talking about it's effed up. Mm-hmm. Now they want to figure out who the anonymous source is. My guess is it's Bradley Beal, because Bradley Supposedly, he was looking at Ernie and said this is the same ass for the last seven years. And almost the sentence structure reminds me of Bradley Beal. I think, too, just when they refer to sort of letting everybody eat. Yeah. That's a whole thing yes. back in last year. Yes. There's a lot of chaos going but on. But here's shook, what John said. Up the lineup after the game. And to his credit, again, John Wall responded because he finishes with 30 points and eight assists and shot well yesterday and led him to the win. Here's John Wall after the game. This team, uh, to hear certain things like being traded. You know what I mean? I try to stay focused. Uh, focus on getting ready to have my new son. Trying to turn his organization around, his franchise around, and win some games. All it is is just go out there and compete, dog. You know what I mean? All of us go out there and compete. That's one thing I always did since day one is give everything I got. And uh, to hear those type of things, it's kind of funny. It's frustrating at the same time. But I've been through worse things, worse than that. So I just stand over top of all that. I didn't know he's about to become a pr- proud papa. Congrats. Early congrats to John Wall. Did he say that? I didn't even hear that. He said he's yeah. got a son on the way. I, I didn't even understand. He is a what very he was fast talker. Like if if you if you I, if you what? sleep on John Wall, I didn't, hear, I didn't for, hear him say it for a yeah. second or two. You're gonna miss play what he's it. saying. Can we play the end part again, like the last ten seconds. I assume that's when he, he said it. Was it was the first, the, the early part. Just replay the whole thing. We got nothing but time. It's Thanksgiving Eve. You know I mean, all the hard and effort and drive I've had for this organization, this team. Uh, to hear certain things like being traded. You know what I mean? I try to stay focused. Uh, focus on getting ready to have my new son. Trying to turn his organization around, his franchise around, and win some games. All it is is just go out there and compete, dog. Gotcha. You know what I mean? All of us I, got go out I got it. Yeah, it's cool. There was a little blurb there in the middle. The audio wasn't the best. Yeah, it was a little. So I can understand up. getting thrown by that. But hey, like JP said, they were led by the stars last night. Beal had 27. I mean, got. I was shocked that Beal was able to recover. I mean, the the. Did you see the head smash between him and mm-hmm. it was a Tyrone Wallace from the Clippers? Yeah. Wallace didn't come back. Where they butted heads. I mean, Beal had a, a a mouse over his eye. His eye was all swole. Yeah. They, they, they patched him up, put a Band-Aid on it. The Band-Aid, by the way, looked like it was completely obscuring at yes. least part of his eye. <laughs> I well, mean, I don't know how you shoot with that thing They Played well face. in the second half. Yeah, he played well, so give them credit. They They... They faced the adversity and got a win last night. Let's just see how they continue. Do so they from have here. to keep digging themselves these huge first quarter holes? It's frustrating. Though. They have to be down nineteen and a half. It's yeah. almost like they're a horse that needs to be whipped down the stretch of a race. Yeah, that they're cr- do very well for them, and then they got to get whipped like a horse down the stretch, and 
They responded. But will it be consistent? That's the hard part. Will it carry over? I know Cakes yesterday mentioned they got a tough st uh, stretch of games. Well, coming let's up. see what happens after so, Thanksgiving. Over the next six games, they're going to have a really tough schedule. How will they fare in these next well, six games? Just, just coming up with the next two, Friday, they're at the Raptors, and then the quick turnaround, they're home against the Pelicans. Right. I mean, those are That's a pretty tough They'll little stretch. They'll be the dog in both of those games. Yep. And then the Rockets are looming. There's another game with the Pelicans. And with John, he's so talented, but it's the effort. And that's apparently where he got into a fight with Scott Brooks about. When he puts forth the effort, you can see he's one of the best point guards in the game.